In today's video, I will teach you how to add text behind objects in GIMP. Let's get started. Start by opening GIMP on your computer. Then go to File, then Open, or simply press Ctrl O. Then browse the location of the file image that you want to use and open it. For this tutorial, we'll use a picture of a mountain. Now select the text tool from the toolbox, then click anywhere on the canvas to open the text editor dialog box. Type the word or phrase that you want to use. Then ensure the text is written in white to stand out clearly. Then adjust the font, size, and spacing in the tool options. And use a font that complements your image for the best effect. Now select the Move tool from the toolbox and click and drag the text to position it where you want it to appear behind the object in the image. In the Layers panel, click the eye icon next to the text layer to hide it. Then ensure the background layer is active by clicking on it. Then choose the Paths tool from the toolbox. Then zoom in on the image using the Zoom tool, if necessary, to get a better view of the object that we're tracing. Then click around the edges of the object to create anchor points, forming a path. For curves, click and drag to adjust the curve of the path. Then close the path by connecting the last anchor point back to the first. Then right-click on the canvas and go to Select, then from Path, or simply press Shift-V on your keyboard. This action creates an animated dashed line around the path that you've created. In the Layers panel, click the area where the eye icon used to be to make the text layer visible again. With the text layer active, go to Edit, then Cut, or simply press Ctrl-X. This will remove the parts of the text that overlap the selected area. Then click Select, then None, or press shift Control a Then switch to any other tool like Move tool to remove the path outline. Then select the text layer in the Layers panel, then adjust the Opacity slider to blend the text with the background. For a subtle effect, you might set the Opacity to around 75%. Now save your image by going to File, then Export As. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.